cakes. We've gone from yellow butterfly cake design. Today we're going to make a small cake. So we're starting with a little bit of petal paste. We're going to mix some tricks into the petal paste to keep it pliable. Turn the board over. Bit of tricks on the board. Keep plying the petal paste. Yeah, we're having a beautiful time. Roll the petal paste out. You don't need it too thick, but you don't need it too thin. Okay? We're using these fantastic PME plungers. Come in three sizes. We're going to do the medium size. Pop that onto your paste. Press it down. Press the plunger down. Release. And then you've got the pattern. Okay, darling. We're then going to take the pieces out very carefully with any sharp tool. You could use a cocktail stick, a Dresden tool, any sort of tool. It does take a little bit of time, but it's well worth it. It doesn't matter if you get a little bit of frill on the edges as you'll disguise this with the glitter, <laughs> the edible glitter that we're going to be using. Okay, so we're going round, we're taking the excess paste off, excess paste, nearly there. Doesn't matter if you pull one or two shards off either, because snowflakes are all different shapes. Okay, we've got that, okay, I'll take that little bit off there. And you can neaten it up if you want to, you can keep going round and taking a little bit off. But I think when we're just using it like this, and then turn the board over, turn the board over, place your snowflake right down, use any white alcohol, either gin or vodka, paint the snowflake all over, okay. and the reason we use alcohol is that it evaporates quickly. If we use water, it doesn't evaporate, it just stays wet. We then use this little tiny implement here. We're going to do another little white snowflake. Edible glitters come in all different colours, but today we're going to use the white one. Oop. Springs out, okay. And then we're going to sprinkle it all over the snowflake. And because, as I said to you, the snowflake comes in three different sizes, Earlier I made one of each size and I glittered them different colours. So I did a lilac one, a blue one and a white one. And I just thought that if you put one on top of the other and then the small one on top of that, you instantly got a 3D snowflake. Okay? You could emboss the cake all over with the plungers which would give an emboss all over your cake. You can then pick the odd snowflake out and pop that onto your cake and ice them on every so often or singly. Doesn't matter. These also I thought would be good if you made mince pies when you've cut the top out. You could either cut the actual pastry out with the cutter and then you've got the snowflake embossed on there or you can just emboss it onto the pastry mm. and then you could use a little bit of gold dust and edge the top of the pastry. 